Hello, everyone, and how are you? I'm so happy. I'm so happy to meet you once again today. And thank you so much for making the time to meet me. Today, we're going to learn a song. We're not going to learn a song, OK? It's going to do, we're going to do an exercise, an exercise to help you to understand. Even though we've done it before, I know most of you have forgotten. But I want us to just revisit it because in our next lesson, we'll be using these things to play the music. It's called rhythmic equation. Say rhythmic equation. Rhythmic equation. Rhythmic equation. One. So what is rhythmic equation? These are rhythms. We know this guy up here with a shaded head and a stem. This one with a shaded, not shaded, but with a stem. And this one not shaded, or let's say half shaded without a stem. This is half shaded with a stem. And then this, this one is shaded with a stem. This one we all know is called crochet or quarter notes. Crochet or quarter notes. This one is minimum or half notes. Minimum or half notes. And this is also semi brave or whole note. We also studied that this one is one beat. This one is two beats. This one is four beats. Now remember, rhythm is when music talks about maths or numeracy. Rhythm in music is when music talks about maths, maths, maths in music. Music is a language. Music is a world of its own. It has its own languages, and its own way of speaking the language, and also has its own way of doing calculations. It was a world of its own. I hope you understand. So if you are studying music, it means that you want, you want to speak music. The same way, if you want to learn French, you learn how the French people calculate the words they used to calculate, the terms they used to calculate. The same way in music, we also have a way of speaking. We also have a way of doing our calculations. We have terms we use in doing our calculations. And the term is rhythm. Anytime we talk about rhythm, remember, mathematics comes into music. So for example, if a crochet is added to another crochet, it gives you two crochets. So as you can see from the example here, it says that crochet plus crochet is equal to two. Why? Because one crochet is one beat. So if you add two crochets, you have two beats. Let's say one crochet is one CD. So if you add one CD plus one CD, you get two CDs. All right. The same way, we also have half note, which is two beats. Or half note, you can say it's two CDs. So if you add two half notes together, what do you get? You get four cities. Down here, we have whole note or semi break, which has four beats. That's what is written over here with rhythmic values, four beats. So if you add two half, a uh, whole note or two semi breaks together, you get four beats. So let's say whole note is four cities. So if you add two whole notes together, you get eight cities. I hope you understand that. All right, so when we come to this example, we know that the minimum or the half note is two beats, or let's say two cities. So when you add one city, which is crochet or quarter note, to a half note or a minute, you're going to get three cities. Why? Because a minute or a half note is two bits plus a crochet or a quarter note, which is one bit. So two plus one is three. If you understand this very well, then the exercise down here are meant 
for you. I'm going to put it on a page after you watch this video. I'm going to put it on a page for you to work it out for me. So you're going to add them together. Number one, crochet plus minimum. You put the answer there. Number two, minimum plus crochet. You put the answer there. Now remember, if you cannot print the document out, just write it out in your plain sheet and then take a picture for me. Okay. All right. Let's try the other exercise. There are two exercises for you. So let's try the second exercise. The second exercise is equation two. Is equation two. So looking at the second exercise, we've already seen this in our first exercise, which is rhythmic equation one. In rhythmic equation one, you saw the rhythmic, the rhythmic values of crochet, mini, and semi break as in one, two, and four. Crochet is one bit, minim is two bit, and semi break is four bit. Now, they also have rest. In music, we want you to rest. We have a sign, we have symbols we use to determine that. So when you are playing and you see the symbols, all you need to do is you stop playing and you rest for a while according to the number of times you need to rest. So when you check from here, we have this sign over here is meant for crochet. So anytime you see this sign, you know it's for crochet and the value is one bit because it is for crochet. It has been designed for crochet. So if you see it anywhere in the music, you know that is a crochet rest. The same way this small rectangle over here sitting up or sitting on a line is two bit. It's meant for minimum. And we all know that minimum or half note is two bit. And that makes this symbol also two bit. So we go to the next one, which is the last one. We have this triangle facing down. It's four bit. It's meant for this one, the semi break or the whole note. So in case music is being played and they want you to rest for four beats, they will put this sign here instead of the notes. If you see the notes, it means that you have to play it. But if you see the rest, it means that you have to rest. You don't play, you don't do anything, you just have to see the notes. So in rhythmic equation one, you were taught the notes and their rhythmic values. In this exercise, you have only the rests. So when you look at exercise example, the example over here, you see you have a minimum plus a crochet rest giving you three beats. And then you also have a minimum rest plus a semi break. A minimum rest is two beats because a minimum is the same as two beats. So each rest is also two beats. And then a semi break, which is four beats. So two plus four is six. So coming down here, you see that you have a crochet rest plus a semi break. A crochet rest is the same value as a crochet. And we know that a crochet is one bit. So each rest is also one bit plus a whole note, which is four bits, making five. So number one is going to be five. Number two, you have a minimum rest plus a minimum note. A minimum rest is the same value as a minimum note. And a minimum note is two bits. So it makes the minimum rest also two bits. So two plus two equals two, four. This is the exercise I have for you this week. And I need you to do this for me and send it to me on WhatsApp or Edmund. Thank you very much for the time. Thank you for making time to watch this wonderful video. And I also thank you in advance because I know you're going to do my work for me. I'll see you again pretty soon, maybe in the course of the week. Have a lovely day and don't forget to be practicing the previous exercise. We thank you, Lord. Okay, good boy, good girls.